Hi, in this tutorial we're just going to have a look at how we get metals from rocks. Um, because basically metals just aren't found uh, lying around in the street or anything like that. They're actually extracted from rocks. and or, or minerals are in the rocks, should I say. So rocks are basically just made up of uh, different types of elements, uh, different forms of the element, all, all bonded together with really high melting points and make them have like hard structures and characteristics to them. So some of the typical uh, rocks we have uh, in the world are, are things like hematite, this one here. I'll put these up at the side as well. So this is hematite. I'll just drag the name up. Uh, other ones, so that's uh, an, an iron ore, so that's iron, so if I just write um, iron, so that's the chemical symbol for iron. Then you've got things like bauxite, and bauxite's uh, another rock, and that's um, a source of aluminium. And you've also got uh, calcopyrite, this one here. Actually, I should put the names up. I'll put the names up as well. So that's bauxite. This is calcopyrite. And this is this is a source of copper. Copper. So as you can see, you can't you can't actually see the physical properties of the elements from that. You can't see that um, that's a nice um, silvery metal of aluminium, or this is a a nice um, um, metallic. Iron, or even the the copper-coloured copper for the calcopyrite. So what you need to do as chemists, you have to actually extract the element from this rock. So what, what the next stage to do would be basically to take take one of those um, bits of rock, so you take a a lump of rock like that, and then you'll grind it up. Okay, into finer particles. And when it's a nice fine particle, um, as powder or something like that, you can actually try and extract it. Now there's a number of ways of extracting, um, so that's a rock. There's a number of ways of extracting the metal from um, its, its components here. So uh, aluminium oxide is what you want to uh, extract from the bauxite rock. Uh, so that'll be aluminium oxide. That's that's the ultimate aim. Once you can extract that from the rock, you can then uh, uh, use electrolysis or something like that. So you use um, um, electrodes to make the aluminium go to one electrode and the uh, oxides go to the other. So then you can get aluminium as a solid coming out. And it'll actually come out as a molten solid because it'll be really hot temperatures. So that's the idea. You get you get the rock which looks nothing like the element, grind it up, extract whatever the elemental form is. In this case, it's an oxide. A lot of things come in oxides, and a, and a good example would be another one would be uh, iron oxide. You've all probably heard of this anyway. So iron oxide, this one here, um, is a nice uh, red uh, coloured powder. And it's um, it's it's what rust is. So if you leave uh, an iron a nail out for too long, it'll turn into this nice iron oxide uh, colour. So that's the oxide of of the element iron. So let's have a look at how we can take aluminium oxide and try and make aluminium. I'm going to use bauxite as an example, but there's the similar processes for um, the other elements as well. Um, there's a no, number of uh, techniques you can use and aluminium is actually extra extracted using a process called electrolysis. So let's just I'll just move these to one side very quickly. I'll get rid of that. Like I said, I'll put these up at the side anyway so you don't need to memorize all this. And basically we're going to try and do this process. So let's just click on the actual process. Just move these out of the way. Oops, just click that off a sec. Let's move, let's move this down a little bit. Okay, so basically we take bauxite rock. Um, so this is called the Bayer process. So Bayer. And 
I mean, it's not it's not important that you remember the names of these. Um, it's just the principle, really, of what I'm trying to get across, is that we can extract elements from rocks. So if we, if we look at bauxite here, there's bauxite, and we'll crush it up, so we're grinding it down into a nice powder, and then they add sodium hydroxide here, so you just get a different little pen. So then you take oops, aluminium oxide, There, like that. Add that to a pressure vessel and heat it up so we've got some nice temperatures going on there. And then after a while, you filter it off and you get the um, you get the sodium aluminium hydrate coming off like this. And like I say, you don't you don't need to know this um, this bit of chemistry. You just need to. We started off with a rock. We've added some chemicals to it. We've made it into a, a, a compound that's nice and soluble. And then we'll crystallize it out, get some nice crystals of this aluminium hydrate. And then we'll heat it up. And as we heat it up, it turns into the product we want, which is aluminium oxide. Okay? So all that process there, just to make aluminium oxide. And aluminium, we're still not, a, we want to get the aluminium out here, this, this element, yeah? So we've got, we've got to that stage, but we've now got to a really useful product. We've got this nice white powder called aluminium oxide. So if I just, just delete um, that and that, say, and let's go on to the next step. So the next step is actually turning that aluminium oxide into something very, very useful, which is aluminium. So we're going to... Basically, you put the alumina, which is the aluminium oxide. Let's just draw an arrow to that. My brush up. Okay. So you get alumina. You put it in there. Maybe red wasn't a, a good choice of colour there. Just quickly get this one up. Okay. And you shove it in there like that okay and also if you notice we've got some other compound in there that's called cryolite now cryolite is is another form of aluminium um, so cryolite is um, just a sodium sodium aluminium fluoride and I'll show you some of that in a minute and these are just electrodes so if you look here in this process this is called the whole her um, um process you notice you've got a big plus there and you've got a big minus there. So this is called electrolysis. So you use electrolysis to separate out the metals. So cryolite, uh, this other compound of aluminium, is only there just to make it all soluble, make it all dissolve uh, very well. So that's, unfortunately it has aluminium in this as well, so aluminium will pop out. And then what you end up with under all this immense heat and um, uh, charge uh, current um, is a, mo a molten lake of aluminium. And that you can actually extract so you can tap that off. And that will give you your aluminium. And that's exactly what you want to do. So you basically started off from a rock. Let me just see if I can get all the ingredients up. I don't know if you can see this, but I'll just move these up a little bit. So you start off with um, a rock. Let me just get that up. Let me just get rid of this. Okay. We started off with bauxite, which is a rock. We then converted it into this compound here called aluminium oxide. I don't know if you can see that, but I'll put it up at the side. This is white powder on the spoon there. So we went from that to that. And then we took aluminium oxide. So let's copy that again. Let's do the next step now. Copy that. Let's put that. So we take aluminium oxide and this compound here, cryolite, down a bit. So 
aluminium oxide plus cryolite plus electricity so I'll just draw a battery you have to forgive me for my battery shape here so that's supposed to be a battery plus minus okay maybe not the best looking battery in the world so then take a, a bit of electricity and out pops aluminium so that gives us that okay aluminium oxide that's a three uh, plus cryolite which is sodium 2Al F6 something like that I'll check that and put the right um, formula up okay it gives us aluminium and from aluminium of course we can then make all sorts of things so here I've just got just get rid of that so from the aluminium here we can make our aluminium sheets aeroplanes, whatever we want to make. So we started off with a rock, which is bauxite. Made aluminium oxide using the Bayer process. And then and then we use the whole her out uh, process to make um, aluminium from the aluminium oxide. So like I say, it's not important that you remember the names of all these compounds and processes and things like that. What is important is that we took a rock and we made a pure element just by using chemistry and I think that's amazing. So I'll, I'll put a few other examples up uh, but hope you enjoy that and talk to you soon. Bye bye.